State back lot. We've got all the aromas, all the smells coming in this morning, and we've got two fantastic chefs with us to talk about the San Diego Latino Film Festival and about the food that is going to be available for uh, those people going to see normally some movies. You know, you'd have popcorn, for example, but you guys are bringing in uh, some cuisine, right? Yeah, man. All right, so we've got uh, both of you guys here to kind of tell us, walk us through uh, what's what's going to be on display, what people can try out. First off, want you to introduce yourself, tell us where you're coming from, and uh, and what you're showing us here. So my name is Chef Miguel Valdez. I work at KMB Bistro in Del Cerro. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to have a butternut squash soup uh, like with that. a coconut foam, uh, chive oil on top, a um, little micro cilantro, you know, a little festive uh, little soup, nice yeah. and comforting for that night. You know what I mean? It's going to be perfect. Nice little sipper. You know, everybody's going to be drinking some wine, watching some movies, and, right. you know, enjoying the day. Enjoying the day. And I feel like that's a big part of it is the importance is not just the films, right, yeah. alone, but being able to celebrate Latino culture Absolutely. As a whole. Absolutely. There's going to be a lot of Latin chefs out there. You know, me and Ricardo have known each other for years, yeah. and so this is going to be awesome. A, a friendly competition. Right. It's going to be fun, and I'm excited. I'm excited to work with my boy right What's here. What's it like to, to be working together? I oh, mean, man. We were, we, when we saw each other on the set, we are like, dude, this is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> this is the best. And Chef Ricardo, you've yeah. got a couple things to show us too. Yeah. Uh, where are you coming from? And uh, tell us what you're showing off. We're at Coco Maya. Uh, we're opening here in a couple months. Six, oh, congratulations. Six, yeah, That's thank awesome. you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. My dish today is uh, tamal de hongos. So it's a it's a mushroom tamal. Okay. Uh, with wheat la coche, which is a mushroom that grows on corn. Okay. And then if you can help me a little bit, we yeah. brought some black truffle that we're just going to shave right wow. on top of there. We're going to make I, it ooh, rain. I need you to make it rain, my man. Black truffle. Do I just hold it do right, it right on the side here? Make, yep, do it right on the side. Okay. Go right over the top. Get in there. Make Whoa. it rain, my G. Come Look on. That. There we oh, go. There we go. Oh, okay. My goodness. Yes. We'll get Don't be shy there. now. <laughs> Don't be shy. There we go. There you go. Beautiful. Shaking it off. Beautiful. And then, okay, so you as well are going to be showing off these at the Latino Film Festival, right? Yeah, this uh, is our dish for the festival. Absolutely. I mean, what are you most excited about? Uh, what, what's the importance of you bringing know, this kind of culture to The most uh, important thing is like we're back. We're open. Mm -hmm. We're right. here again. You know, I've been gone for a few years. I'm back to see my, my people. Latino chefs are back to represent. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and this is a beautiful event. So I'm super excited to be back in the community and we all get together. Yeah. One of the big things that people talk about is what's the need for a Latino film festival uh, individually. So what what can you say about it? Well, you want you know I mean everybody has their own little. Uh perspective of art. Right. I mean, we got the food, they got their videos, everybody's going to be doing a, their own uh, certain type of film. Yeah. And everybody's different, you know, and we want to see what's out there, the different cultures that are out there, you know. You so got more than just uh, popcorn Absolutely, right? absolutely. It's the culture we have here in San Diego. All right. You know? So let's dig in a little bit to, to what we got here. You said this is butternut squash, right? Butternut squash uh, soup with the coconut foam, a little bit hint of vanilla, and some chive oil. And is this meant to literally just be sipped? Sip, sip Perfect. it, yeah. Like enjoy it. Enjoy your wine, your, your cocktail, whatever you're having. Nice and comforting. Oh, you know, that's yeah. what I like to. I oh, like that's comfort delicious. Food. And it's not like too spicy, really no, subtle. No. So are you guys actually going to be competing, or is it just? Yeah, there's a competition. I think. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. I think we always compete. Yeah. All day. All it's day. A Come daily on now. Competition for you two. <laughs> And then what else are you adding here? You added some stuff to the top? Oja Santa. So this this is an herb you find in southern, central Mexico. Um, it's very herbaceous. Tastes almost like root beer. Okay. So we dried it, and then we have some fresh on Ooh, there as well. That's awesome. Well, I, I got that sip of the foam on top. What is that foam? That's a coconut foam. Okay. It's just a coconut, and it's frothed almost like an espresso. And uh, then I add a little bit of vanilla to that. And it just gives a, a hint of vanilla mm. with that green chive oil. Just kind of blends in really nice. Oh, it tastes so good. Okay, good. I'm putting this one down and then I want you to tell us about this sauce. All right, you ready, man? Let's you ready? It. Here, is this spicy <laughs> first off? This is not too spicy. Okay. I like to go a little little we'll mild. But we this just cleanse your palate with this. And, and so now absolutely. Let's go over, there we go. This okay. and the, the color comes from wheat la coche, which is a is a mushroom that grows on corn. Okay. It's an ancient ancient delicacy like we wanted to bring ancient and modern back together. Vibe them, fuse Vibe them together. Them, fuse them together. So go ahead, get in okay, there, homie. dig in. And uh, while we dig in, you said your location hasn't even opened yet, right? Nah, we're, we're still in construction. We're, we should be open here in the next couple months. Um, 1660 India Street, we're in the heart of Little Italy. Uh, Caribbean food, so we'll be focusing on the Yucatan, down through South America, and then also the t Antilles, the I greater mean, and lesser Antilles. That's the thing, is this isn't the typical like tamale that you would get, right? A little bit of a twist? It's different. Well, mm -hmm. I, I think a lot of people don't realize a lot of plant-based food in Mexico. 
We didn't, right. you know, it wasn't until the Europeans brought chickens, pigs, cows. So we really wanted to focus on the Mayan interpretation of what that would be. And mushrooms, wild mushrooms have been cultivated in Mexico for thousands yeah. of years. Yeah. Tastes great. Um, and that's awesome. You're gonna be in Little Italy. Like yeah. the heart of just so much culture. Be doing so it. So much taste. Uh, your location is already open, right? Yep. Tell us about it. It's uh, KMB Bistro in Del Cerro off of Del Sol Roll Bar. Um, they've been open for, for many years. Um, mm -hmm. They also own other, rest uh, other restaurants. Um, and I'm just bringing in a fresh, uh, fresh little sense of uh, freshness to the to the menu. You know, I have a farm table background. Um, I have a little local farm that's working with me right now, and so we're just transitioning all the product as a freshly daily routine. You know, mm -hmm. making sure that everything's clean, and it's a it's a clean concept. You know, I mean, uh, every day there's going to be a special. Um, we have amazing amount of liquor, beer, there wine. There we go. You name it. We Speaking have it all. Speaking of liquor, beer, and wine, we have it all. Better uh, uh, Rosbor coming in come and in. Join us. Uh, our yeah. resident <laughs> beer so expert. We, we if you if you're trying to to get something special, this is where you want to come. Yeah, come get yeah. your bottles, come get some food, come get some drinks, enjoy the nightlife. Uh, it, it's it's awesome. It's we got to cheers spot. to one of these. Absolutely, you absolutely. Uh, you guys were making you guys it have sound to join so in too. good. I had to like yes. literally leave yes, the seat absolutely. to come down. down. Uh, yeah. this oh, salud. So good. salud. 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 Are, we, go. are we sipping or are we going straight? Oh, oh my gosh. For eight a.m. we sip. Family show. Mm, that's mm. delicious. Oh, that's it's so good. good. That's so good. I was gonna say, I, I took what it was to that? the dome. Chai oil. Chai oil. Oh my and god. Then, and then my boy yeah. took care of me with some uh, micro cilantro. Like it just micro worked out. Cilantro. You know, it just like we meshed. It was. It was so like, good. Totally like taught us new things. I didn't know the Mayan culture Here. and the food and all of this that. Guy, this guy. This guy just this, put so. me up on game. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank look at that. You're all set. And then you gotta try the tamale. Yes. We gotta hear your perspective. The sauce is my favorite part of it. That you just drizzle on top. And I mean, it's not even a drizzle. It is. Like we're getting no, nowhere. We don't drizzle over no, here, exactly. man. We don't be drizzling Isn't over here. We're oh, Latinos. Yeah. We don't drizzle. <laughs> so give no, us the details. No drizzle. <laughs> no drizzle. <laughs> exactly. Right? We don't drizzle. That. Um, <laughs> for people who are looking for tickets, who want to join in, I mean, like you said, awesome that you guys oh, are going to be Santa. in person. Yeah. Where do people find out Check more information? Check them up online. Mm -hmm. uh, Latino, Latino film, uh, film Festival. Check it up online. You'll be able to get all your tickets there. Awesome. Um, see who's competing <laughs> as a chef. All the chefs are going to be online. Yeah. And just, just check us out. You know what I mean? They're going to sell out quick. That's it's, right. So just get on there. You know, reach out. I'm sure you guys are putting it on the prompt right now. Yeah. And, and then just like reach out right now get Make your it. tickets I right? have a very I'm very curious who cut this into this perfect circle oh. that takes a skill right? my assistant <laughs> I'm an assistant <laughs> that does I'm all that I've never seen such a beautiful like <laughs> oh. circle it's probably his protege right there that's yeah. my favorite part thank you so hey, thank you for having us uh, Chef Miguel Chef Ricardo we thank appreciate you, you. thank you so much thanks for joining in the festivities as well yes of course